Coming up, caller ID says it's the FBI, but the person on the other end isn't the authorities. The latest scheme to swindle you out of your money. And he may be considered recovered from COVID-19, but some symptoms still linger. An update on a Sioux Falls native's bout with the virus. Good morning, this is Kelly Land on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your day. Sioux Falls police are hoping someone will come forward with information about a weapons violation on the east side of the city. Around 7.30 Wednesday night, officers were called to the intersection of 3rd Street and Columbia Drive, which is near Washington High School. A person was in the area with their children when they noticed a smaller red four-door car driving around. The witness told police a man got out of the car and pointed a gun at something. We were able to get uh, some evidence from that citizen. They were able to get a picture of the car. Um, so detectives are working on maybe trying to identify that. Police say they haven't received any reports of victims. If you saw or heard anything in the area, you're asked to call Crime Stoppers. Well, be very wary if you get a phone call showing it's from the FBI, and if they're asking you for money, it's a scam. A rural Minnehaha County woman lost $7,000 this week after someone claiming to be from the FBI told her she faced drug charges if she didn't send them gift cards. While these phone spoofing scammers can be convincing, law enforcement will never make a request like that. The sheriff's office, the PD, any federal jurisdiction will not ever ask you to send them gift cards. We'll never tell you to put money in a box and send it to us. The scammer also convinced the woman to send them an additional $20,000 in cash, but, but fortunately law enforcement was able to stop that transaction. Law enforcement officers in 23 counties across South Dakota will soon be equipped with tablet computers to connect people in mental distress to mental health professionals. On Thursday, the South Dakota Unified Judicial System, Avera eCare, and the Helmsley Charitable Trust, in collaboration with the South Dakota Sheriff's Association and community mental health centers, announced the launch of the Virtual Crisis Care Program. This program is going to assist the law enforcement to give them another tool in their tool chest and have access to 24-7 mental health care support. So when a crisis situation happens with one of the residents in these rural counties, they can now have access. And that's, that's going to be a game changer. Kelly Lane Capital News Bureau reporter Bob Mercer was at Thursday's announcement in Pier. You can find out more about the virtual crisis care program right here on KellyLand.com. Well, turning to weather now, after a round of storms earlier in the week, the weather is calming in parts of Kelloland. That's right. Let's get a check of the current conditions with meteorologist Scott Munt. All right. Good morning, you two. Good morning, Kelloland. Ready to start the weekend. Here we are on Friday morning. Uh, we'll have to watch for a couple of scattered showers and thunderstorms in parts of central and northern South Dakota as we hit the afternoon and evening. And then we are looking at temperatures to be warm, downright hot for some of us still. Numbers into the lower 90s into central and parts of north central South Dakota for the afternoon today. But then the cooler weather arrives on Sunday with temperatures retreating to the 70s. And for some of us, the 70s may last through Wednesday of next week. More details on your forecast with Brian Karstens coming up. Thanks a lot, Scott. The South Dakota Health Department will conduct mass COVID-19 testing at Macross and Boys Ranch in Sioux Falls. This comes after several cases were reported at the facility. Health officials say as of Thursday morning, there were less than 15 coronavirus cases at Macrossan. The Department of Health is working with the organization to conduct mass testing soon. Macrossan is a nonprofit that serves troubled and at-risk youth. We have another update on the coronavirus outbreak at Camp Judson in the Black Hills. The South Dakota Department of Health says the number of cases have increased to 61 from campers and staff. That number is up from 32 announced Wednesday. Health officials say six of the positive cases have already been considered recovered. 75% of the cases are teenagers. For a closer look at the latest information from the Department of Health, check out this Kelloland.com original report on our website now. Back in April, my brother Ben came down with a case of COVID-19. Now, Ben is a Sioux Falls, Washington grad who lives in the Minneapolis area. He quarantined away from his wife and daughter for a few weeks and then seemingly recovered. However, months later, Ben says he still doesn't feel back to normal. And to make matters worse, he was just laid off from work. I have lung pain sometimes, some chest pain sometimes. I um, have a sore throat or like right now I have a slight headache, which I never had any of these before. I'm colder now uh, than I was before. While he looks for a new job, he's also cherishing some time as a stay-at-home dad with daughter Kennedy right now. His wife Karin just went back to work on the front lines as a health care worker. 
Well, let's look at some of our top stories. Now let's get one last look at your weather with meteorologist Brian Carstens. All right, weather this morning. Well, you can see here, starting the day, pretty quiet on future cast, but uh, we do see an increase in at least a few scattered areas of rain, northern, central, even western South Dakota later on today. I think that that story uh, does play out for Sioux Falls by tomorrow morning. But uh, first thing there you see at 5 o'clock in the afternoon, we'll be tracking a few spots on radar. And I do think some of that will t continue to spill south going into Saturday morning. So keep that in mind for your weekend plans. There will be some rain chances mainly in the southeast tomorrow. And then uh, cooler weather becomes the big story early next week highs in the 70s but in terms of how much rain we get i would expect most areas are going to avoid heavy rain here this is mainly going to be scattered and under a quarter inch for many 84 today though in sioux falls for your high near 90 and pier let's run down your seven day forecast and you see high temperatures here likely in the 70s starting on sunday that last monday tuesday wednesday of next week and you'll notice too that that period of time is drier also true for Aberdeen in the Northeast, 77 on Sunday, 75 Monday, Tuesday's high 76. And Pier in Central South Dakota looks like highs upper 70s, low 80s. So a break in the hotter weather looks like rain chances might get a little bit better there for Rapid City by the time we get to Tuesday and Wednesday. That's your weather forecast. Check out the rest of the details at Kettleland.com and have a fantastic Friday.